top tier nightclubs and day clubs in Miami, New York, Las Vegas, and more do not operate like your normal local nightclubs. A lot of times these venues cost hundreds of million dollars to build and another few hundred million dollars a year to maintain. Due to this, a lot of venues have to legally segregate people or prioritize people in order to maximize profit for their venue and not go broke. These venues cannot keep their doors open from drink sales and ticket sales alone. And here are the four priority groups for any single nightclub. General admission or GA for short is usually the longest line at any typical nightclub. One of the worst parts about going in as general admission is that you typically have to arrive early before venue reach capacity and you will be waiting in line for a very long time if you're not on the VIP guest list or if you didn't purchase pre-sale tickets. In general admission, all you need to do is show up at the club when it opens or before the venue reach capacity. My people in Las Vegas, if somebody on the strip give you a VIP access card or a VIP guest list, just know that it's not really VIP at all. It is fake VIP, it's just marketing. The only VIP is bottle service. One of the major pros of getting general admission is that there is no commitment. All you have to do is show up, wait in line, buy a ticket, go in. That's one of the best parts. For some of the cons of going with general admission is number one, it is the longest line, typically always the longest line. After general admission, next up is guest list. If you are able to get on a guest list through a VIP host, it is way better than choosing general admission or going through a promoter's guest list. There's two people that really run the club. That is the VIP host who makes all the table reservations and handle the VIP clients. Number two are the promoters whose jobs are to fill the club with general admission. Now, the person that have more power is the VIP host. So if you could get on a VIP host guest list, there's a higher chance that you could get in or or you could come to the club pretty much whatever you want because the VIP hosts have more power than your regular promoter. If you want to know more about becoming a VIP host or a VIP host versus a promoter, click the video right here where I talk more about it in detail. But let's continue. Getting in on a guest list will allow you to get in for free or for a reduced price. Typically, the guest list line is shorter than the general admission line. However, it will take you longer to get in through the guest list versus general admission because general admission is paying full price, so they are more of a priority than you. That being said, not everyone can get on the guest list. A lot of times, there are restrictions for the guest list that you have to meet. Number one is girls only guest list where they do not allow men at all. Number two is even ratio, meaning there have to be an even number of guys and an even number of girls or better, all girls. Number three is the personal friends guest list. This is for staff that are working at the club. This is also for the artist that is playing. Number four is only VIPs and high rollers. Now this mainly happens in Las Vegas. This doesn't really happen anywhere else. So don't really worry about this. As I said previously, if you are a group of guys, completely forget about getting on the guest list. This is not going to get you in. You're better off getting bottle service and some clubs will force you to get bottle service. Or another way that you could get in on the guest list if you're a group of guys is if you have really, really hot models with you. I'm talking about the hottest girls in the world. The guest list is really easy to get put on, but it's really hard to be eligible to get into the club. If you're wearing the wrong outfit, if you're not a hot girl, if you're not a guy with a bunch of girls, there's a chance that you will not get in at all. They will find any excuse to not let you in. There's a lot of scams going on, so make sure that you only pay at the club. People could put you on the guest list and then you pay at the venue when you enter. Do not pay any promoter. There is no commitment whatsoever. So if you don't show up, you're not spending any money, so it doesn't really matter. However, one of the major cons is that if you contact a VIP host and they put you on their guest list and you do not show up, they probably not gonna help you out again because they went out their way to put you on the guest list, which is not their job. Their job is to sell tables, not to add people to the guest list. So if they add you on the guest list and you never show up, they may never help you out again. 
Speaking of that, another con of guest list is that you must contact somebody in some way. You must contact a promoter. You must contact a host. You're going to have to have some interaction with somebody, which some of you are antisocial and don't want to do that. Number two, the host or promoter could forget to add you on the guest list. Now this is going to be horrible when you show up to the club, you wait in line and you find out you're not even on the list at all. So that's another con. Guest list is not available for every single event. For example, for New Year's, there is no guest list for New Year's. If Martin Jarrix is playing, there's no guest list for that. If Lil Wayne is playing, no guest list. If Drake is playing, no guest list at all. Management have to make sure that the guest list people are wearing the right outfit. So you're going to be under a microscope if you go to the club and you're in the guest list line. Nightclubs really do not want men unless they are VIP. So even if you're a group of two guys or three guys, the nightclub really doesn't want you in. So make sure that you follow that dress code pre-sale tickets are available online before the event starts so days in advance sometimes even months in advance because your ticket is paid in advance the nightclub will try to rush you in as soon as possible so you could go in get drunk and leave faster Another great advantage is that every single nightclub and day club venue has pre-sale tickets. You're nearly guaranteed to get into the club. Make sure that you follow all the rules and the restrictions that are on the ticket. The line for pre-sale ticket holders are way faster than guest list or general admission. You are more of a priority to the venue, so they're gonna try to rush you in, as I said earlier. Some of the cons of going with pre-sale tickets. Number one is that you are committed. Once you're buying, there's no refunds, there's no exchanges, you are in. Number two is that pre-sale tickets can sell out pretty quickly, sometimes during a major event. Okay. When you have bottle service, you are treated like a king at any nightclub you go to. You could go in, you could exit whenever you want. You can invite other people to come in. You have your own private section. Another pro is that you get expedited entry into the club. Now let's talk about the cons of bottle service. Bottle service is expensive. For bottles that cost you $30 at the liquor store, you're going to be spending at least $500 you could be spending thousands of dollars on a bottle that only costs $100 or $50. Prices change at a moment's notice. If you're going to choose bottle service, book it as early as possible. Bottle service never gets cheaper. The best advice I could give you is book early through a VIP host. Now let's talk about some of the exceptions. There's always exceptions. And the number one exception that's bigger than them all is hot girls. A lot of times in Vegas and Miami, you will see, you will see host and security go up to the guest list line or the general admission line and literally handpick hot girls girls and rush them into the club. You will see this. If you're a girl and you know you hot, you could just go up to the security and ask them if you could skip the line. And sometimes, most of the times, they will let you skip the line and go all the way up front just because you're good looking. One of the best options if you are a really beautiful girl is to contact a VIP host and just straight up ask them to skip the line. Like just straight up ask them. Don't try to flirt. Don't do anything. Just be honest. Like, hey, I don't want to be in this line. Let me skip. And sometimes they help you. Another exception to the rule are people that are friends of the staff and people from other rival venues. People that work in nightlife like to party and they don't want to go to the venue that they work at. So they go to other venues. So a lot of times these people get let in for free or they get free bottle service just because they work for a rival venue. Now, the reason why we do this is because when we visit their venue, we're going to want to hook up as well. 